first came up with mentor, we're like, okay, we're gonna name these students mentors. And then we were gonna call, you know, the students who needed support, mentees. But mentees gives the impression that they're below mentor when really we wanted to kind of even out the power dynamic to say, hey, this is a working relationship. We're working together. So mentor, you could learn something from your mentee and mentee, you could learn something from your mentor. So there's not this like, oh, I'm here and you're down here. You, you don't know anything and I know everything. No, not in the kind of, we're working together. I'm working with you to improve your grades, um, make better decisions in the build, in the school building, and you're also helping me because what a mentor will say is like, man, you have no idea what this did for me. Like, it feels good to care about somebody else. It feels good to know that I've had an impact on someone else. So think about a student who prior to maybe felt what? Helpless hopeless, a lack of power, control over the life. And now they're seeing, man, I'm really having an impact here. My value now goes up. Now I'm valuable, I'm important. I'm not a throwaway or a castaway. Just because I didn't fit into the box of a school building doesn't mean I don't have value. No, I am important. And this is why I'm important, because look what I've done in this school building. Look what I've done to impact the life of somebody else. What bigger thing that you can do is to impact the life of another person. And a prodigy will say, man, I know what it feels like to have somebody care about me. Seek me in the hallway and just say hi. Or check in on me to say, hey, how's it going? Those things are deeper than just school. This is not language arts and math. We're really looking to build just incredible people because they go back into our communities. And if a school building doesn't empower young people, not only academically, but social, emotional, and they're learning in that process, then we're doing a disservice to our kids. And then they go back into the community and they have no skills and they don't know how to control their anger and they don't know how to be responsible or stick through or show resiliency and they struggle. Yet they have a diploma that shows that they graduated from high school and they met all the requirements, but they're still not able to be effective adults. And then going back to the question is, we use prodigy because a prodigy is someone that shows some kind of talent or gift or something special or amazing. So every student isn't mentee who doesn't know anything. It's like, no, you're a prodigy, you're chosen. You're a chosen one. You're, you're like someone that's special. And we're gonna take you from sixth grade prodigy to eighth grade mentor. And it's just growing. But I think, man, when you see those kids, there's tears, man, when they're crying. Like, dude, you can't fake that. I can't even coach that. Kids are gonna be real. If it's, if it's they, they like it, they're gonna show up. If they don't, they're not gonna show up. And when I seen those kids, man, and they were so heartfelt and moved, like, I'm gonna miss you so much. And he's weeping and they, they come together and they hug and embrace, like, like, dude, that's the work. I'm like, we got something here.